Today we're going to go over a topic that one of y'all asked me to, to address, which is my rod and reel arsenal. So, whew, this, this is going to bring back a lot of old memories, but I'm going to pull them out, show them all to y'all, tell you what I use them for, and why I bought them. And just a general review of do I like them or not, or their pros and cons. So, y'all stay tuned. Alright guys, uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm kind of ordered this from when I, my first bait caster that I still have with me. I have a few that have gotten lost and torn up, and but I'm going to go from the first bait caster that I ever bought up to my most recent. So I'm going to try to fly through this and hit on all the high points, but y'all y'all uh, bear with me. One of my first bait casters that I ever owned was, of course, the Abba Garcia Black Max. And for anybody that, you know, is younger, I got this when I was probably about 14, 15. But, so, this for $50 or however much the market price is when you're watching this is a phenomenal reel. Uh, I can't, and then I have it on the, uh, this little camouflage H2O Express. They sell them at Academy Sports. For the price, guys, this thing has... Oops. For the price, this thing has gone through some stuff and it still works. Uh, so I'll keep it over here and as a backup kind of. So I guess the next one in the sequence would be this Shimano Sitica. Uh, this reel, I mean, I really put it through its test. I still use it a lot. I actually have it on this really heavy uh, rod that I have that has gotten broken. The tip got broken, so I put a replacement tip on it and I use it to cast my deeper, uh, you know, a deeper smart sonar. Uh, I don't have it in here, but y'all know what those are. But yeah, this is what I use this for. I got this for a graduation present in high school. I had a Sitica, you know, the old, no, I had an old Corrado, you know, the green ones that everybody loved. I had one of those. I don't have it anymore with me, but it's also, it was a great reel. But this thing, guys, got it as a graduation present out of high school. So uh, it's coming on about five or four years old now but dude for the price you can't go wrong with this with the Shimano Sitica. Oh yeah and on that Sitica I had it paired up with uh, one of those camouflage rods as well and then that point in my fishing career I guess you want to call it I was kind of like well I want you know those were those were light medium heavies or medium medium heavies so I was like I need something you know to fish fish lily pads to throw a frog to do stuff like that and so at the time I thought it would be good to invest in a heavy so I got this guys this this setup here is for the longest time was my like frogging setup and I still use it a lot uh, for throwing like stuff in thick structure it is a loose speed spool wait let's see if that'll focus in a loose speed spool LFS I, you know bought this for about eighty dollars back in the day and used use the crap out of it. Uh, I still have it. I still use this one. Actually, I take this one out a lot because it's got. I have sixty pound braid on it right now, and a little a little swivel. I'll throw a big frog and some lily pads, or uh, you know, if I'm throwing a big swim bait, I might throw it on here. Something like that, guys. This one isn't one of my like, or now it's not one of my like day in day out rods. But for the money, guys, this real is really good and this rod is a Abba Garcia uh, Vengeance uh, it's okay I'm gonna be honest with you it's it's a heavy so you know it's basically like a big old cane pole it's not much it, it has its uses uh, but I will say I'll get to it later but my ducket triad is an extra heavy and it's more sensitive and than this but I forget the price of these I think I paid like sixty dollars for it 60 yeah so the reel's great this rod is okay uh, but I, there's better for the price so we'll get to my other setups all right next guys was when I was kind of like getting serious I think right when I started this page one of the first uh, pictures I posted of this thing was like got a lot of views uh, and or likes whatever uh, and I was like you know I don't want to say that's when I kind of got serious with the page and I bought this thing I decided to step up my game, and this is a Abba Garcia 
uh, Revo SX. So you, you can get one of these now, guys, for like a hundred and almost a hundred dollars, which is, I'm telling you, out, out of the ones I've been over so far, this by far, you know, they, they when they first came out, what I bought it for was like 150 150 dollars, but now they're like, they came out with their Gen Revo SX Gen 2, well this is the Gen 1, and I'm pretty sure they have them for like, uh, yeah, like I said, I think, I don't, don't quote me on this, but I think they're 100 bucks. They might be like 120, but for the price, guys, this thing is what I used for the longest time. I had I, this reel was the one I put through probably the most. It was in that stage where I got super serious. I fished a lot, and uh, yeah, I've caught a lot of fish on this on this reel right here, guys. Uh, I got the wind grips on this Ducket Ghost. Uh, Ducket Ghost for 100 bucks. The reel, I mean the rod. They're they're really great rods. Uh, they're not. Uh, there's probably better hundred dollar rods out there, guys. But I just have always liked the looks of them and the lightness of them. But yeah, that's the setup. Oh yeah, I wanted. I forgot. I'm not adding everything. What I fish on this setup, guys. I have fluorocarbon on here. A uh, straight fluorocarbon line. So I fish a lot of Texas rig worms, jigs, stuff like that on this. This is really like my. I'll throw a crank, nah, not a crankbait, but I'll throw jigs and stuff like that and Texas Rig Worm on here and like heavy cover because I have, I think this is 17, maybe 15 to 17 pound fluorocarbon on here and yeah, I really liked this setup and it's definitely one I always have in the boat with me. Big grips, real big grips, don't know how I really like them yet, uh, they look kind of cool but they're huge. Uh, I don't think this was what they were intended for to put on a, a knob like this, but it's almost too much, but let me get to my next next setup. Okay, next, I think I bought this bad boy right here. I uh, don't want to spend too much time on it because you can see it's off the rod and just sitting here. It broke for a while back, a while back, and I tried, I kind of fixed it. I don't, I don't know, but this is the Dawa Twitch. I made a video on it on my YouTube. At the time... I really liked the features on it, and I even said in the video that uh, we'll see how long this little, this with this feature lasts. It's kind of complicated, the internals of this thing, uh, on how that works and how long it would stand up. Well, it broke a while back, and I now have kind of retired it, even though it's like fixed, but like, kind of, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, guys, the dial with Twitch, I would say out of all my purchases, this has probably been the worst. Uh, I think this thing was like eighty dollars. It's just it, you can when you cast it, you can just tell that it's made out of all plastic. Uh, a lot of it's just not that not that great, guys. Uh, I think they marked up the price a lot because this little twitch feature. But other than that, it's not really a solid reel. So yeah, we'll get we'll get to some ones that I actually fish with. So I was like, I need a spinning reel in my combo, and so I was like, I'm a I'm gonna be a finesse guy. I'm a I'm gonna add some finesse baits into my uh, my arsenal. So I uh, bought this Revo SX. Funny fact about this, guys. I went in there to get a spinning reel, and somebody I read a bunch of stuff about spinning reels because I had no clue anything about spinning reels. Because you know most bass fishermen s stick to in the south stick to bait casters. So I was like, ah, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a spinning reel, and. I went in there and wasn't planning on spending much money, but I went in there and the guy that was working in Academy was like, hey, that Revo SX over there, it's a $130 reel, but for some reason right now, they're ringing up for $68. He was my buddy. I went to school with him. And so I was like, you've got to be kidding me. So I jumped on it. Of course, when I went to the register, it rang up for $68 and I got this Revo SX for $68. I have it on the Ducket Ghost is actually a medium heavy so uh, at the time medium heavy is kind of like my finesse but I was like you know I, mediums in the, at that time were just too light for me uh, but I, I, I changed it up you'll see later I got another spinning reel but for the longest time this is my little finesse combo uh, that I really enjoyed caught a lot of fish on this oh. This is probably one of my most fished. I probably you've seen this in a lot of my videos, guys. And 
I have to say I've, I've loved this uh, Inception. This is a 1.3 Inception, 13 Fishing, 1.3, whatever, uh, on a Ducket Triad, guys. This was one of the first reels, I mean rod, reel combos that really changed, like, I don't want to say how I fished because that's kind of cliche, but yeah, this thing is rock solid. It's a, high, a fast gear ratio with, I usually have braid on this thing. Right now I have Monotex, 40 pound Monotex. And this Ducket Triad, guys, is an extra heavy. So you can just see that thing. I really love the looks of these. I actually bought another one pretty recent, but it's a, in a medium heavy. But yeah, look at the, I don't know, these things are just look great. And I like it because it's an extra heavy. It had the backbone I needed for frog fishing. Because if you've seen on my channel, Instagram, whatever, I love frog fishing. And this thing is an extra heavy. Like I said, I can pull those five, six pound bass over slop, lily pads, whatever I need to do. And it still has a sensitive tip, guys. That's something that's important. Because you don't want to pull the you don't want to pull the bait out of the frog's mouth because uh yeah, that obviously you wouldn't catch the fish. But yeah, this thing is an extra heavy. But it's for the, compared to my heavy rods, the tip on this thing is really limber. Uh, it is a 7.6 uh, extra heavy. So, really recommend this. I've loved it. You, you can't get too excited with it or you, you might pull the, you, you might pull the frog, rip the frog out of the bass's mouth. But for the most part, if you just kind of discipline yourself and get used to it, and you just set the hook, that was kind of awkward, uh, you just set the hook casually, you, you know, give them, give them enough time to get that bait, you're not going to have that bend to keep you from pulling it out of their mouth before they commit, or you know, really b chomp down on it, whatever you want to call it, but you just have to make, discipline yourself a little bit, but after that, when you have that fish hooked up, you're in total control, because those fish, you know, you can, you can really... Uh, you can really force them around. You you can maneuver them. You can get them to go where you want to by, you know, switching the angles. But yeah, so this has been I called I've caught a ton of fish on this thing frog fishing. So yeah, this is my frog. Or I can I pitch with this thing some. But yeah, that's that's its use. Next, I bought this reel right here, which was the. I think I'm doing these in night order. This is a 13 fishing. I kind of got on the uh, 13 fishing bandwagon for a little bit, guys. Not going to lie. Uh, I bought a 13 fishing Origin. No, this isn't Origin. Yeah, it is. Origin LTE. It's not their new Origins. This was a, this reel was like only a Dick Sporting Goods exclusive. So for a while, I think this was like this and Field and Stream were like, which are basically kind of the same thing, were the only people that sold this reel. But yeah, guys, I've really liked this. I had all those heavies over there, those heavy rods, and I was like, I need a medium heavy. I'm just being too ignorant, and you know, I need to finesse it a little bit. I need to tone down, not be so forceful with them. So I, I bought this medium heavy, and I, for eighty dollars, this reel was eighty dollars. I've really been impressed with it, and the rod is a Berkeley Emotion. I think that's how you say it. E, Emotion. It's not going to focus. But, yeah, Berkeley Emotion with, I wrapped it with wind grips and put the wind grips on the handle, guys. But uh, one thing about this one that I will say that I didn't like and these wind grip handles helped was the grips on these things stock are super small, like tiny. You feel like you're pinching them when you're fishing. It kind of bothered me, so putting these grips on here was definitely an upgrade uh, for this for this reel. But, yeah. All right, guys. This is when I was like, maybe I, uh, I got the medium heavy that uh, this origin here. I got this, and I was like, I kind of like I kind of like the forgiveness in this medium heavy when fishing like crankbaits, like I have on there, because that I didn't show that off very well. But yeah, there's a big old crankbait, and I have straight fluorocarbon on here. I was like, maybe I like uh, this finesse thing a little bit. I'm gonna try it out as the uh, as the summer approaches when you have to kind of fish slow and real deep for bass so I bought this like I said on the 13 fishing bandwagon 
but I'm not gonna. I'm not hating on them. I like these reels a lot. This is the Creed GT. Uh, look at that thing. That's why a lot of the. I mean, that thing is just sick. It looks really good, guys. It performs well. I've had. I've heard a lot of people say the drag will go out on it. I, mine hasn't given me any problem yet. I put it on a Fate. Uh, or yeah, Fate Chrome. Thir same 13 fishing rod and reel. Uh, I mean. Reel and rod. I got that backwards. Uh, but yeah, like you see, I have a. See, this is this is southern finesse, guys. <laughs> southern finesse fishing right here. I got a, a wacky rigged worm on here with a uh, one quarter ounce drop shot. But yeah, this has been a good combo. Caught a lot of fish just being patient and, sl and throwing this thing out. And yeah, I know that's not how you drop shot, but that's how I drop shot in the south. I'll cast it. That weight brings it down with the bait. You know, suspended one or two foot above, and just worked this thing real nice. And uh, I've caught a lot of, picked up a lot of fish on it. So, yeah, whew, we've been we've been in it a while. I hope this isn't too boring, and this helps some of you out on making purchases. I've enjoyed all of them besides this one, guys. Uh, all good purchases. Do your research, find some good reels. Uh, most companies make solid stuff. So let's get into one of the newer purchases that I bought right around Christmas of 2017. Alright guys, the Crotto K came out and everybody was hyped up over it and me and my buddy, my buddy, uh, I'm going to give him a shout out, Reed Davis, uh, he came to me, we fish a lot together, and he said, uh, hey I have this uh, high school fishing card that Shimano gives people, the Shimano rep, Gave it to me or whatever, and you get 40% off of any Shimano reels, six of them, you can order through this card. So I was like, that's awesome. We're going to we're gonna go in and we're going to wreck Shimano's website. We're going to buy a ton of stuff, uh, or six, six reels, which is a lot. But me, him, and my grandpa, we went in and, yeah, I bought the Crotto K uh, and put it on a Ducket Triad. And... I, this this setup so far, I've really liked it, guys. Uh, got a jig on here right now. Look at that thing, black and purple, with that blue line on there. I haven't. Uh, I'm really impressed with it so far. I've, like I said, I've only had it for a month or so, uh, but so far, amazing reel, guys. And uh, yeah, this ducket triads a medium heavy. I'm kind of I kind of grew out of that. You know, I want, I want a heavy rod. I want to just force them in. No bass is, you know, wrapping me around the stump or whatever. To uh, kind of the medium heavy side where you, you get a little bit more sensitivity in there because it, it is really needed. And that's something that I learned over time uh, is that, you know, these are super versatile. You can get a 7.3 medium heavy rod and fish a ton more stuff. Getting a heavy rod a really long heavy rod kind of limits your options on what you can rig on here. But so like I said, I wanted to get a 7.3 medium heavy to where I could, this would be a very versatile rod. I'll throw a jig on here, you know, I'll throw a, a fluke during the spring or I'll throw uh, a Texas rig worm on here, uh, put some fluorocarbon on here and run a spinner bait, crank baits. Well, it's not really a cranking rod, but you can do a lot of things with the 7.3 medium heavy. I, I'd say it's one of the most versatile combos. But let's get to the last rod, which y'all probably seen me talk about a lot because I'm speechless on this combo, guys. I mean, this thing is, I mean, just look at it. That thing is so beautiful. Huh. I get worked up about this thing. Certainly when you get out there and you, you cast it. Like I said, I did not pay full price for this. You're probably thinking, how does a $400, $420 reel that's a little bit insane uh, for somebody like me, but yeah, guys, I got it on sale for like 250. Yeah, 250. And so you can see as I've kind of progressed, I didn't start off buying expensive reels, and I don't suggest you start off with the. Well, you can if you really want it, but work your way up, guys. All those reels that I grew up fishing with, and uh, here in the past few years. They're great. You don't have to have one of these. Let me just say that. I'm not trying to brag and say, oh, I got a $400 reel. But after a while, and I've gotten pretty serious with this, and I think uh, this thing, 
Go watch my review video on it. I review these two. Uh, but, man, this thing, I've loved it so far. Here again, I put it on a 7.3 medium heavy uh, carbon light 2.0. This thing is unbelievable for the price, guys. At first, or, you know, like I said, I've been, I've been showing you a lot of ducket rods. And I've really loved the triad. But... I think this was 130. Yeah, ducket triads are 130 with this. Uh, they have the cool little fake carbon fiber wrap on there uh, and the gold accents. But guys, for $120, this Bass Pro uh, brand Carbon Light Johnny Morse, and this this rod is amazing. It's got wind grips on it, which I really like. Uh, like I said, I go really in detail on on these setups. And videos I made separate videos on these so y'all go check those out but that's just my rod and reel arsenal guys and I hope this helped if you take one thing from it know that I do kind of have some expensive stuff now but I started off with the $50 baitcaster and over five six years I've kind of worked my way up actually yeah about five years I've worked my way up so you don't have to have these they are nice and I uh, you know, but going through the steps of all the progression of all of these makes you appreciate makes you appreciate them when you get them. Yeah, I hope this helped y'all. And one other tip is, I kind of got caught up in a phase of I need a heavy rod. You know, I want to. The whole flipping and pitching thing came about uh, probably a few years back. It's been it's been around, but it really got hot on me that I needed those rods. But uh, like I said. A good old 7.3 medium heavy, medium heavy with some fluorocarbon guys. Like one of the most versatile setups that you can have in your arsenal, I'd say. So uh, yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video, and I hope it helps you out. And uh, yeah, so make sure and leave this video a like and subscribe, and comment below uh, what you want me to make the next video on, guys. Uh, like I said, I made this video because a lot of people were asking me in my comments. So, yeah, I hope, like, like I said, catch y'all next time.